inflation is coming. No matter how you pass the April CPI inflation report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS, you cannot escape the reality that prices rose across the board by a lot. Overall, prices in April climbed 4.2% year over year, the biggest such gain in the headline CPI data since September 2008. Even when you strip out volatile food and energy prices, so-called core CPI inflation, prices rose by 3% year over year in April. Month over month, core CPI inflation rose by 0.9% in April, the biggest one-month jump since 1982. Certain components of the April CPI report saw historic gains. Used cars and trucks were 10% more expensive in April than in March, for instance, marking the largest month-over-month -month price gain since the BLS began keeping numbers in 1953. Used vehicle prices were up 21% from last April. Gas prices in April, meanwhile, rose 50% year-over-year. The Federal Reserve, whose job it is to keep price growth stable, has been telling anyone who'll listen to expect higher inflation in the near term as the economy gets back to normal. The Fed is also saying that near-term inflation increases should give way to more healthy price growth over the longer haul. Still, the April CPI numbers came in higher than many analysts were predicting and caused some jitters on Wall Street, and leading indices fell deep into the red after the report. Combined with long gas lines in some parts of the country thanks to a computer hack on a key fuel pipeline, pessimistic investors may be experiencing flashbacks to the stagflation of the late 1970s. These data points were much worse than expected, said Matt Forrester, chief investment officer of Lockwood Advisors at BNY Mellon Pershing. The Fed has indicated that these readings will be transitory, but markets may not interpret these as optimistic signs of a quick recovery. What's going on and what does it all mean for you? To get a sense of what's happening, let's look at airfares. Once the COVID-19 pandemic began last spring, demand for travel plummeted. Folks cancelled tickets en masse, delayed vacations and hunkered down as stay-at-home orders took effect. This, of course, led to airfare prices to drop precipitously. In April 2020, for instance, airfares fell 24% year over year, and they would spend most of the rest of 2020 at these depressed levels. When you compared airline ticket prices in the time of COVID-19 to prices from the before times, they were typically about 25% less expensive. But once a year passes, these year-over-year -year comparisons turn. The April CPI report compares today's airline prices to what they were after COVID-19 struck. So it's not terribly surprising that April 2021 airline prices were almost 10% higher than a year before, if only because so few people were buying tickets then. This is one of the key points that the Fed has been pounding away at. You must pay attention to these so-called base effects.